Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the talented and gorgeous Kim Lin. What's your Instagram handle by Kim Lin underscore makeup here. The longest one ever. In there life. you go. So if you want to follow her amazing work, please give her a follow on Instagram. Um, so today we're basically going to be doing like a get ready with me slash chit chat. We're going to touch on some sensitive topics as well. So yeah, if you want to keep on watching. Keep on watching. Keep on watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just going to jump into some of the questions and um, suggestions, topics. We don't even know because I feel like you guys are pity boarding. Wow. <laughs> we each got like... I got four. <laughs> you at least got a few. I got four. Like, anyway, <laughs> let's just see. Um, we're going to be doing our makeup while we're doing this, so... Yeah. We're not going to be explaining product or anything. We're literally mm. just going to be doing like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, do us men have a say in a woman choosing to constantly wear makeup? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. I feel like it's a medium ray. Mm -hmm. Because... <laughs> it's almost like <laughs> cool. Yeah. I just feel like, yes, I would want the opinion of my man. Mm -hmm. Not just men in general, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but still, I'm probably gonna put on a full face Hundreds. to dinner. Hundreds. Yeah. Um, but that's just my thing. Yeah, I feel I feel some uh, some of them. I mean, it's good to know that I know a lot of men prefer. And I don't prefer anything. You don't need makeup. You know, that's almost like a backhanded compliment somehow. But yeah, um, it is. You know, but at the end of the day, especially as a makeup artist. You do. You don't do it for you. I don't do it for you. I don't do it to impress you. It's yeah. because it's an it's an actual art form. It's a stress reliever. It is, um, you a way of uh, expression. I would say. Yeah, I think so, like for makeup artists, it's generally it's generally for our artistic creative purposes. But I think for everyday women, most mm -hmm. women will do it to make themselves look nice for everyday for their job and stuff. Mm. And then yes, there are those few women that are gonna do it for their man. Yeah. But that's because their man already accept that they wear makeup and that they enjoy makeup, so let them be. Mm -hmm. But if you're out and like, makeup's fake, makeup looks yeah, makes you're you not look allowed. fake, you're not real because you wear makeup, <laughs> yeah. that for me is, there's, a, there's some BS yeah, no, right no, that's there. That's just not a vibe, I'm not, I'm not here for that. Actually, we didn't even tell people how we met. Oh gosh, <laughs> we didn't, we actually just thought they We literally just jumped in. Dude, that was it's how many like years ago? People just expected us. Expecting to know, to know each know other. How we know each other. <laughs> um, how many years ago? That was, I think, 2016. Wow, was it that long ago? Yeah. That's crazy, eh? Dude, mm. I, I, time, I flies. Like time flies and I'm, I can't catch up. I feel like, you know, oh. I'm leaving. Yeah. What are you talking about? Um, I think I, what happened was, I, I think I, we might have DM'd before. Yeah, we were following each other on Instagram. Yeah. That was where it began. And then I, I was doing. Um, so I used to work at um, Express a Morning Show, Top Burning, all of that like kind of TV shows. And then I was going to film for um, Tropic Island of Deja. Um, and then I need. They we were filming the. Um, yeah, like it was like a press shoot. Like yeah, like a press shoot, like you know. Um, announcing who would um, be taking part in it and then the, I, I was so stressed I remember because they were like look here we don't have budget to fly um, you and an assistant like through I'm like I don't know like, who? like and then I was like yes I know yeah. somebody I knew somebody in Joburg and then I was like girl I need you um, so I'm just carving up my brows <laughs> God, are you carving I, like I don't do this whole YouTube vibe like all my videos like I don't talk and yeah, you I jam I in your, my room. Yeah, I love your video. And I just cut, cut, cut. So that's my vibe. I don't like explaining detail. Mm -hmm. I literally just like sit here and talk my ass off. Like I have verbal diarrhea. It's very obvious. <laughs> when did you start using makeup? Sorry. Me definitely. My first product was a blue eyeliner. Oh, lovely. In primary school, like I would put this blue liner in my pants. For when it was Civvy's day, oh, and I'd like just thanks. touch up on my waterline every time. Like, well, that's trendy. Like, I didn't know. I didn't. I just the normal casual <laughs> black liner and mascara. <laughs> I think that was, and that was also like but more towards like I would say grade seven, 
Um, so we started early. Yeah. yeah. But I think for the duration of high school, I, I would never wear like a full face of makeup. It would always be like mascara, yeah. lip gloss, lip that red, lip better, the cherry one. <laughs> <laughs> like I think everybody <laughs> had that one. Uh, uh, but but would you get in trouble for wearing makeup? <sighs> no. Like by who? I mean, school. Like by prefects and stuff, yeah. No, I wouldn't wear it, I think, at school. I would, it would also be like a severe situation. Oh, okay. Um, I feel like it just fell in my lap because mm-hmm. I used to go with my aunt to her um, like clients and I used to be the one that would sit there and clean her brushes in between. Oh, no. So I kind of just like, it kind of just grew into me and then I remember my best friend and I were going out to some like, like party thing at another school and I put on like this electric blue <laughs> eyeshadow it's even and I was blue. like, oh yes. I'm going Lovely. and my, mom, my best friend's stepfather was like you're not going anywhere like that <laughs> where do you think you're going like that I'm like it's my eyeballs yeah like, I'm going like this <laughs> also freelancing is not for the faint hearted no it's not um I have a lot of days where I'm like oh my god <laughs> what am I doing with my life <laughs> it's scary but you get to do what you love every day and you're, like your own boss, your own hours, like that helps. Yeah, very so, true. But it's also it's like a you have to work that much harder because you are your own boss. Exactly. So like, Lord knows how I'm managing to do it because I'm the most lazy human on the planet. <laughs> I don't know how, but I'm doing it. So but you yeah. also worked um, on set, so you had to be up like really oh, early. Gosh, yeah, express those thoughts. At 6 a.m., mm-hmm. which means if you're getting all these resenters ready, no, no. my call time was at 4 30. Oh, how? And I live in the southern suburbs, Mm-mm. so I had to leave the house super early. I oh, and another it. thing Kimlin and I have in common we don't drive. <laughs> <laughs> Where Kim are? Oh, we're, we're, getting, getting we're getting in there like quick fast, eh? 27. <laughs> I'm gonna be 29 this year. How adulting are we? We adult. God. Okay. This thing on. Mm. We know how to adopt. <laughs> Not. <laughs> wow. I get oh, I get questioned and interrogated so much. All the time, people. right? Wow. Like your okay. friends are the worst because they're like, you have get to in the car, just do it. Do oh, it. Word. Serena sitting there behind the cameras already like, we're going to take you. Nah, we're gonna yeah. teach you. And I'm like, no. Uh-uh. It's fine. Uh-uh, no, I have my license, guys. I just never fetched it. <laughs> it's still chilling. It's still chilling there. I have. It's been... I probably need a... Definitely need to... What do you call... Renew it? Yeah, I need to renew mine. Um, I'll let mine expire. But legit, the last day I drove was when so I So, actually, that. this is a good it. thing to touch on the freelancing because people always, like, say, how do you get around? How do you manage? How do you live your life without driving? And it's like... Uber. Uber changed my life. Uber? Like yeah. they should just sponsor us. No, because seriously, come on. Like for real, honestly. Seriously, like I've been using Uber, and before Uber, I was actually using like the normal meter taxis to get to work Jeez. when I was working for Mac. Um, so guys, <laughs> did the things. You know what it, it is? Like for me, when I used to work um, in town a lot, I just always used to think about like the safety aspect of it. Like, imagine me having let's say five jobs in town all over the place now you carting your massive kit yeah. it's in the boot and you have to park vitivani because <laughs> like traffic and parking is like the worst like no now you become a target you know exactly. what I mean? so now you get out the uber you're right in front of the place you get in get out like but i will also say easy. ubers made me very lazy because yeah, true. I also don't want to take my, all my stuff with me because I really want to. I want to take my ring light. I want to take the chair so of I don't course, break yeah. my back. Yeah. And then I'm like, my kid's heavy enough, so I'm just not going to take the chair. Yeah. No, um, I make sure I find someone to help me. It know? has its pros and cons, yeah. actually, okay. but we manage. I mean, like, we're still here, guys. Okay, so, hmm. okay, so I only got four questions because my followers are so loyal. <laughs> just joking. It's actually my Insta fam. <laughs> Yeah. You guys played me because you didn't ask me any good But also I feel like it's just the algorithm is just being... My al- but yeah, but the algorithm is always just trash. Yeah. Anyway, so... Let's mm. say, what would you suggest for an individual that wants to start wearing makeup? Makeup kit ideas. So this is obviously 
someone who is not a makeup artist? Mm. Mm, basics. Always mascara. Highlighter. Yes. I feel like start with like white maybe like one expensive product which mm. would be like foundation yeah and then so something a bit more affordable like a mascara mm -hmm. so for me like as i mentioned i started working for mac and that's how i got to build up my kits over the years mm -hmm. but when i left um counter that ply back <laughs> the ply is just so rude it just wants to be in <laughs> so here. rude in mix. i didn't even pay rent here mm -hmm. so i literally like what was i saying Wow, I have a really fast minute. <laughs> you were like, when you got off counter at night. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> Is this thing live? <laughs> Is it on? So, I literally then stopped working, went to travel agency, blah, blah, blah. Then, when I started working for clients, I was doing makeup looks in between. And I was like, you know what? I was looking at Amrezy, I was looking at Desi, and I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? This is actually really cool. Yeah. This is actually so cool, like, I'm going to start posting my looks because at that time, I don't know why, I was just feeling so inspired and everything and then I started posting the product details. Yeah. And then slowly but surely, brands are like, can we send you this, can we send you that? And the ball started rolling from there. Mm. But the only thing that's really sad about this industry that it, it is really so fickle and you can be forgotten in a day quick quick steps. very quick wow. yeah. because i went through the same thing that kimlin went through where i just took i think even a year off mm -hmm. where i didn't want to do clients i didn't want to post makeup looks um i started and stopped things so much that it actually hurt my engagement yeah. on my my social media platform because it's all than about helping. like uh, what do you call um consistency yeah and i'm really bad with that so now i've had to kind of like master consistency but I'm kind of glad that I took that time to grow. Mm -hmm. So it's not all unicorn and rainbows. Like it, you literally have to work every day at this thing so that brands don't forget about you. Yes. So when I moved to Portugal, it was hard because I wasn't in the industry there. I was just doing makeup there and I came back and I was like, people forgot that I'm back. Mm -hmm. Like people still don't know I'm back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it really isn't easy and i feel like a lot of people are like how did you get into this and it's really not as simple as saying oh i tag brands yeah i did x y and z yeah you can't you it's not that simple not only that i feel like it chooses you yes it definitely does yeah um like i always say this i heard like i'm a makeup artist first this is your secondary this is yes. amazing this is this is fun it's, it's work and you to get like a lot done and a lot like of great um opportunities and plan and 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 you kind of think, oh wow, is this 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 is actually work? This is, can be a job. What? It's, it's, yeah. it's crazy. I think only when you start getting paid, you're like, wow. Yeah. I'm getting recognized, and it's even better when you know, it's like directed at doing makeup. Yeah. Like if you get campaigns where you're doing makeup, it's even better. Yeah, definitely. Like that for me is very rewarding because it's like, okay, people actually trust my work. They love my work. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a, d a really deep one here. But mental oh. in illness. Okay. Do you want to touch on it? We can. It's gonna get real deep, real fast. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so, I don't have my mascara, <laughs> so we can go. I know. I so touchy. This yeah, it is. As well. I um. I was always a very. How can I say? I had my shit together in terms of the views I had on things. Yeah. If that makes sense. But um. I would say in the last five years, my anxiety has been, wow, it's been lit. <laughs> and anxiety is so intense. It's like, been lit. Yeah. But do you feel like it's because of our society today, like our social media and... It, it, all, it definitely heightens it and it plays a, a big role, but I think it's also the way I grew up and the way I'm raised or the way, oh, you know what it is, it's the pressures I put on myself. Yeah. I'm in my head a lot. I feel the same. I overthink, oh, wow, a hell of a lot. And the sad part is like, I've, I've been put on a pedestal my whole life where in terms of the way I live my life. So the choices I make, the things I do, the things I don't do. And so it's hard when it doesn't give you much room to fail or slip up. Yeah, that it is. doesn't give you much room to be um, 
vulnerable. You're always the person um, that everybody goes to for advice. Mm. Like I inherited that from my parents. Like they are like the advice givers in the family, and then it was passed on to me. I don't know. I didn't ask for that pattern, but it was given. <laughs> um, and I just I think in in and naturally I am that way. But then it's almost like in in my in my head I always go, who would want to go to the advice giver that is struggling themselves? If that makes sense, that doesn't have their shit together. That doesn't. That have that's how I feel. Yeah. So I, I put a lot of pressure on myself, so I, I, I do a lot of crying in, alone by myself in my room. <laughs> which, is, which is good and healthy, but also not because I keep a lot of things in. And that is where hours are not my own. <laughs> and that is where it, you know, it, it, it triggers. Um, and then I just, wow, that's a lot. I feel like, yeah, I just feel like the more you talk, <laughs> the more I feel like very, I feel the same Mm -hmm. like I just want to say the same yeah ditto ditto (laughs) because I also feel like I'm that person that helps a lot in terms of advice and like especially I think it's affected me more on social media because I think ever since I was about I've never been like I think a lot of people wait let me get my English straight Mm. I think a lot of people think that I have my ish together all the time Mm. like I looked like that on social media but for the longest time, even in school, I was always very depressed. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just like in environmental things mm-hmm. and I was just never really happy. And I know it kind of sounds horrible to say that because when I think or say that out loud, I feel kind of bad mm-hmm. because I know I have everything I need, mm-hmm. but it was more like an internal struggle. Yeah. So as I got older, it didn't get easier. Like I feel like maybe when I was around, between like the years of 24 and 26 was the worst. Like I would sit on my floor and cry yeah. and just be like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like I just went out, you know? Yeah. So for me, like mental health is huge. It's like, so I've tried to like slowly start adopting this thing of taking care of myself first and then others come second because I have this thing to take care of people that need me first yeah. or like that need help first um, but I still do it but I still I'm more cautious about yeah. it you know yeah. I feel like how is this going to affect my mental health yes. before I you know yes. so I think also like with social media pressures it heightens everything mm. um, and like obviously like my dad passed in January Mm -hmm. and I wasn't even aware that his like mental health was not okay he never spoke about it so I feel like also we need to speak about it we need to find someone or something that's safe for us to say I don't feel okay or I feel like Today is a really bad day. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this day. Say it to someone, something, even if it's someone that like, I see, like for me, I again go back to the same way. I feel like if you need to share it with me on social media, do it. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes people don't want to sit and call like a call center and be like, speak to some random person that has no idea. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they do, but it's just, it feels so like, I don't know, like formulated in a way. But yeah, I feel like nowadays it's really, it's getting worse like with social media. I agree. We're always comparing ourselves, like we always want what other people have, yeah. or we like, are we enough? And we have to take ourselves out of that box. And I think it's necessary also like, take a break. Yes. You need to take a break. Definitely. And also take yourself out of situations that you don't feel comfortable in. Oh yeah. Don't sit there. Don't feel bad for feeling the way you're feeling. I think that's something that I learned a lot, again, also with human beings in, in gender and in life. Don't don't be too nice and say, okay, no, okay, I'm just going to stay here because I'm scared of what they're going to think of me if I leave. Leave. Uh, yeah, leave. Prioritize you first. Yeah. You know what I mean? And touching back on the, when you said um, you, you sort of, um, you help everybody else out before yourself. It's almost in a way for you to forget about your own issues. So you'd rather, you know, you, you figure them out. But then by the end of the day, you're so drained and you, you can't understand why. Mm. It's because you haven't dealt with your own stuff first. Um, so I also have definitely, especially this year, prioritized um, my own my own stuff, man. And I also so kind of feel like it comes with age. Like, Ooh, yes. 
when you're a bit young you don't know how to deal with these issues mm. um you don't know who to speak to because like for me in my home talking about it was not like you being a sissy like i'm not bashing my parents mm. my parenting my parents parenting skills but like it was my mom was always like quite a tough woman my grandmother was the same and my aunt was like the only one that would be like yeah just tell me what's going on you know mm -hmm. so in a way you also feel like you always need to be strong yeah and like now that i'm growing up and i'm getting older i'm like actually today's not a good day i'm gonna take this day for myself and just be and yeah. if i want to lie in bed all day and cry about it i'm gonna do it so that the next day i can be better and continue working 100%. yes yeah Amen and amen. amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, no, definitely. So. I had to speed up because someone is actually definitely done. <laughs> and I thought I was... I thought you were going to be done way before. Yeah, I was trying to faff and then I just played myself. <laughs> it did not work out. I was done. We'll get there. So did you start gymming again? Lord, did I. Oh, did I? Yeah, but I did ask you because you had some like ads and the other <sighs> picture that you posted. Well, they were definitely oh, gone now. Wow, that was me. On another level but um i had to because like i'm someone that if, if i don't get into it, something like immediately and force myself like yo it takes forever to get back into a routine yeah but once i'm in it like you're in me it. i'm unstoppable you're like 100 percent so now i am like addicted i mean i am gonna say now i am an addict <laughs> <laughs> and I need that. Did you endorphins. become full Chloe revenge body? Life. I did, definitely did, um, and it just it was so good for me mentally. Also, like yeah. oh, you just feel so much better and happy. And also, it was it's currently the one thing I can control in my life. <laughs> it's what I put in my body and what I do with it. So mm. I'm just like I'm living my best life, and yeah, I'm I train like six days a week. And then that's I, that's a well, thick six <laughs> six days a week. And but don't I, you get like a, a day in the week where you like have a crash? I do crash. I would say uh, that's usually me on a weekend. Um, surprisingly, even if I crash, I literally do like the whole 20 minute nap thing. Okay. And then I'm ready to go and again. You're fine. And I think um, I'm just, uh, I, I'm doing it for me. And so I'm, I'm more like, okay. You're obs I like have obsessed to do with it. it because you know it's like, it's for myself. It's an achievement. It's yeah. just like, yes, you know. And once you start seeing your body shifting and changing, I mean, I lost what six kg since what? I started in April. Oh shit! And okay. I've lost six, and which is that's wow. Crazy. Um, I wasn't eating well. I was someone that literally would eat once a day, <laughs> and that's okay. very bad. Um, even wow. though I love food, um, yeah, I just don't. I, I, so I ended up speeding up my that my, 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 my metabolism. <laughs> How much? <laughs> <laughs> um, and I now I eat like every two hours. No, I have to eat like I'm starving. But it's a good thing. But I think you you go into that because we were talking about this earlier. Mm. And like I feel like I'm not there yet. Like I feel like I can only do two meals a day. Yeah, yeah. But I do feel hungrier when I train. Definitely. But I think it's also like a mental thing, like to not overeat, because we're so used to as humans eating when we feel hungry. Like, yeah. Just eat, just and, stuff. and sometimes you just overdo the calories because you're so hungry. True. Mm, yeah. I by me doing this, I get a lot of messages because I, I post my workouts on my Insta stories. Oh yeah. And I do it purposely because I get a lot of messages of like, oh my word, I'm so glad that you're showing the to do like what it's actually the like. The process. You get there's so many like fitness models that are like. And it's so easy. Amazing. Yeah. No. It's not. <laughs> so, like, it, you, we, we all have our weaknesses and like what, what hurts more than, you know, than others. But like, I, I like that um, they can relate to it and they can feel like, okay, if she's doing it and she's in pain, <laughs> but still smiling and pushing through it, I can do it yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? So well, that's exactly That's why. my thing with social media as well. Like a lot of people, like influencers as well, that have just started gymming. Yeah will be like yeah poker face yeah and yeah. you know they're dying inside because we've done that work yes. we are dying Deep and it's deep. not like it's not a fun process it's a, but it's a necessary process 100%. i know like now how chloe felt about it oh girl yes Deep. she was just like in it and in it to win it and now she's like she she can't stop yeah 
I'm definitely in that but it's now. definitely a process to get there where you feel like oh my gosh because I've fallen off the wagon so many times yeah like so many times I'm like getting into it and then I'm like off and then I'm off for a long time yeah. it's not like a couple of weeks it's like a month two months three months so when I was in Portugal I was training like every single day sometimes twice a day because the gym was so close like and I felt safe walking there so I was like cool and then I left and I came back to Joburg and I was like I wasn't active I wasn't productive like I think that had a lot to deal like do with my mental health mm -hmm. as well yeah so now that I'm moving again and go for walks and stuff it just so yeah. much better so much better I know I was ducking all of the things I can't believe I did color so I think Kim's hair affected my look to me <laughs> it's literally like on the right side <laughs> definitely it just flowed and it just splashed onto my eyes. <laughs> oh my word! I want the. I know! <laughs> yeah, what did I think? Yes! It's so good, I know. I was actually checking if they were bringing it back, but at the last Probably time. Probably international. Last time I checked, definitely discontinued it. Oh my god. Inglot? Come on now, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. That's crazy. Okay. Are we done? Oh done. my gosh, this blue though. We are. But it looks more like. It's why does it look the, purple I, on you? It's because of the under of the the orange that's under it. Okay, guys. So there you have it. Get ready with me. Chit chat. I hope you enjoyed this session. I know it's probably going to be a very long Good luck episode. to the editor. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we can talk a lot. But it was so much fun having Kimlin on my channel today. And if you guys want to see her again, comment below. Comment suggestions, topics, let us know. And yeah, guys, do you want to say anything? Hi. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, well, this is probably one of my first collabs, to be oh, honest. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't my my YouTube is non-existent right now, but yeah, so thanks, Anyways, guys. Thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Mwah. See ya.